What's up everybody? Today on Make It Cozy, we're finally gonna shred some plastic. Efficiently. No more hand cranking. What's up y'all? So what I'm trying to do uh, is I'm trying to get this industrial shredder that I found coupled to this wheelchair motor. And it's geared in there and it has a three quarter inch shaft with a keyway, which is nice because I could put a set screw once I couple it over to the shredder base, which unfortunately it is German made. And so it's metric and it is not three quarters of an inch. The shaft here is 0 0.775 inches. So it's a little bit off. It's a little bit bigger. So I have an idea since I can't use the gear that came with the couples to the motor shaft since it broke uh, what I would like to do is make a coupler for it I don't have my own lathe a metal lathe I got a wood lathe and also got a lot of plastic which I've melted boom HDPE baby so check this out so this is my plan you understand so what I want to do is I drilled a uh, drilled yeah I drilled a hole uh, through this bad boy right here um, so that hopefully I can drill out the uh, three quarter of an inch hole and hopefully what I'm going to do is just kind of like press fit it to this bad boy and then have it uh, uh, groove onto this guy so that I can use like a set screw and since it's plastic I'm hoping that I can just kind of like thread it you know. So I have this whole coupler idea with the wheelchair motor. You're going to see that spoiler alert it's not going to work uh, but I wanted to just throw this in as like part of my problem solving thing with my little makeshift drill press vise and then trying to do this coupler idea with the wheelchair that already had reduction and I have the original bull reduction gear that the shredder came with but the gearing that couples to the induction motor was chipped up real bad which is why I had this whole idea. So uh, it's a little sensual for lack of a better word but uh, it's working I guess. I guess we should see if we can do what we uh, aimed out to do. Oh! And it's done. So obviously I stopped the video because I didn't want anything to go funky, but it uh, is disconnected and uh, we're good and safe. My power didn't trip, so I don't know why it would, unless there was like some sort of current overdraw, but I don't think there's that big of a protection. Like, anyways, so uh, yeah, so here's this. Um, it started to shred. Maybe if I had more power. You know what? Let's fire it up again. Test number two. Yeah, get it. Oh my God. I don't know, let's go on this way and see what happens. Nope, dead, okay. Well, uh, what can I say? First attempt was a first attempt. You don't know unless you try, so uh, it was a valiant effort, I guess. But um, if anybody knows any cool ideas with wheelchair motors, uh, DC-powered wheelchair motors, let me know in the comments section because I'd love to hear what you have to say so I'm not out 20 bucks. Um, but I guess I'm just going to have to try to bite the bullet um, and do a little interweb research to try to figure out how to repair that induction motor gearing that was all chipped up. There's a, you know, it's, the gearing is chipped and yet yeah, it loses steps or whatever with the bull gear, but um, not that a few brewskis won't solve and a, you know, a little bit of research. So I guess that's the next, uh, the next thing to do. So after doing a little bit of research, it doesn't seem that hard to repair this guy, but I do need a little ridge. I couldn't get a saw or anything in there. So I used the X-Acto and my little blade to carve out a little ridge little bit for the not even the, the dremel i thought the dremel was going to be too crazy so i used the femel with the diamond bit that way i could have a travel path i didn't want this thing to wander it's got to be very very uh precise with air bunnies so then i got this right here boom the secret weapon sheet metal <laughs> so what my plan is is to use some ca glue boom boom ca glue Stick it in there. Wait for it to get. Oh, I should probably get a hair dryer. It's a little bit chilly out, so I think a hair dryer might have to come into play. Now I haven't really decided if I want to just flood this 
thing with CA and then form it. Whoa. What is that? Or if I want to try to weld it with HDPE pieces. Oh, you know what I should do? Let's put it on the doodle. I need like a third hand. I think it'd be like Goro, dude. If I were Goro, this would be easy. Alright, there we go. You better believe it, baby. Alright, sit. No, don't don't wander. Boom. There we go. Stay in there. There we go. So it's sitting in there. And I don't think it's going to be it any funky. No, it's lower than the other one, so it's in there. Alright, forgive the poor lighting, but I need it for execution. So I'm just going to get a little dab. A little... You can't tell because the light's too jacked up. Jack me up, dog! But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I've already run it around the sides. And now I'm going to stick it in the tip. I'm going to drive that down in there with the pencil. And now I'm turning your gray pants blue. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I love a movie quote. I just kind of paint it in there. And then I'm just going to let this sit. I don't know. Maybe overnight? I don't, I don't wanna, oh, you know what? I'm going to need more. I need to get the tip wet. Let's, oh, God. It's a ghost. Easy there. Easy, big fella. I wonder if this will melt the plastic that's already in there to provide a, a weld in itself. I don't know. Cyanoacrylate. That's what it is. Cyanoacrylate. Alright. I think I'm going to stop touching it. Alright, that piece is going to stay, though. I'm going to need to get just a little, a little dab. There we go. Yeah. Get the tip in there. Just the tip. Just for a little bit. And then it'll harden. <laughs> Somebody's got to open this door. Let all the innuendo out. Get in the crevice. All right. Well, pfft. Oh, piss. I didn't get the back. I got to hit it from the back, too. It's a good knob. Right there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need some aerial coverage. All right. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to quit messing with it. Shake it once, that's fine. Shake it twice. You're not gonna fool me again. Oof. I need like a I need like a wipe. Nurse. So let's see. So you can kind of see some of the bubbles. It's hard. This thing is hard to focus. There we go. You see, so I got the edge right in there. That part chipped. So luckily there was an edge that I could push it up against while also keeping some clearance behind the bearing. I don't want that to rub. Metal on metal rubbing? Dry rubbing? I don't think so. Alright. That was nuts. That was scared. I was like, I'm scared. I was actually scared for a second. Alright. So we got the piece. Stick it back on the motor. Gingerly. There we go. Very good. Alright. And then we take the I call the bull gear, but I don't know what others call it. Might not call it anything. The bull gear. All right, so that should be right. Oh, good, it's in the middle, dude. Ha ha. So we got the Bing Bong in there, and it's jammed in nice and tight. And it is this one, right there. So it's right in the middle of the tooth, which is kind of cool. And like I say. See, it moves, man. It's all well and good. So we're gonna see how this rolls, baby. And then hopefully, we can start shredding. We can get into them jugs. Whoops, let me move that. A little extra lubrication. All right, we're in it to win it now, brother. I got the doodad right there. Where are the locking ding-dongs? They're right here, all right. All right, we got the motor wired up. It is actually a little bit safer than what it was in the previous 
section. So we got our plastic. We got this guy double doodled. It's actually on on the motor side on the switch, but we're gonna turn it on right here and hopefully we don't die. So let's check it out. All right, that's a good sign. That guy's meshing pretty well. Okay, so let's see how it does with a piece of plastic. Oh, beautiful, that sounded good too. Oh, my capacitor, oh, it's falling apart. Bail, bail. Now that we're in a position to where we can actually move forward, ideally, we're gonna take it to the test run here in a moment, but first, let's talk about jugs. All right, so we like big jugs. We got the gallon jug. All right, uh, don't really mess around with the half gallons, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, check it out. I'm gonna tell you how to break this thing down. First off, what I do is I go for the handle. All I do is pop it off. Boom, looks like a hot dog. After that, I take my shears, and I just split it down the middle, all right, boom. And you can add your relish and mustard, I'm kidding. But anyways, go through, take the label off, right? The label just pops off. I don't really wanna be messing around with the gluey bits right now, although I have read and seen some stuff on the interweb where they say that if you spritz it with water, you let it soak, stick it in the microwave, the, um, the glue will just peel right off. So the next thing right here, right, is that we got this, uh, we got the bottom piece. And this bottom piece has a real thick layer right in the center of the seam and also where this narble is, where they blew it up in the factory or whatever. Let's see if you can focus on that. Boom, right? So it's real thick. Uh, that'll be like the stress test. We're gonna take it to the limit. Uh, so then once you get the, the main pieces like this, right, I just take it and I just run the shears, boom, into strips. All right. And that's how I break it down. I break it down in about a minute. But hopefully, in the grand scheme of things, I'm not gonna have to hand crank this bad boy anymore. I used to have this HDPE piece, this little billet guy that I molded. And you can see, like, right, this is where the, uh, where the washer was, and it meshed into the other side. I would just crank the shredder by hand, and I don't wanna do that anymore. I, I, I don't, especially after that wheelchair fiasco, you know what I'm saying? We got the shredder, we got it ready. Let's crank it up. It sounds good, right? It's all greasy. She's so greasy. Obviously, you want to be careful with your fingers. Let's get this little... Yeah, look at the shred, baby. That's nice. That's nice. I got the bucket. This used to take me like 30 minutes. All right, let's go with this. This piece is a little thicker, right? Quick work, no big deal. All right, let's take the funky bit. All right, very nice. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to go... We're going to use this piece, right? This is a piece that has the thick... A thick edge on it. I think what I want to do is I'm just going to take it, you know what, I'm just going to go vertical. That way it's like, you know, hopefully it gets in between the thing. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. But it's good though. I, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with the spout just yet. I'll probably cut this piece off, obviously. And then as far as the spout's concerned, we'll just, we'll just use that as a base or something. You know what I'm saying? So that way that it's, it's, I don't know, it's gonna melt regardless, you know what I mean? It's gonna be twisted in the oven, it's gonna be great, and we're gonna save, we're gonna save turtles, we're gonna save seahorses and stuff. They're not gonna get stuck in the plastic waste anymore, dude. It's amazing, I love it. This is great stuff. We're moving in a positive direction. Another project in the works. I love checking off stuff from my ever-growing project potential list. It's amazing, it's a great feeling. 